DNA mutations account for many of the cancers that we see today. And some of these mutations may be due to carcinogens, toxins found in the air we breathe, the food we eat, the water we drink, not to mention products that we use. Also, the aging process may bring about genetic mutations, the metabolic aging process of each individual cell. Also, genetic mutations that occur simply due to the genes that are available within our bodies. Also, infections such as viruses can play a role and contributors to causing cancers. Once these mutations occur, even subtle mutations, cancers begin to grow and transform. And as these cells begin to grow, we develop tumors. Angiogenesis literally means blood creation. In order for a tumor to grow larger than the size of a pea, they need a blood supply to divert nutrients away from healthy cells. To accomplish this, tumors release chemicals such as interleukin-8, vascular endothelial growth factor, and transforming growth factor beta, which causes blood vessels to reroute themselves to the tumor, supplying it with all the tools it needs to grow and to spread to other areas of the body. Cancer cells enter the bloodstream using a process called metastasis. Metastasis is where cancer cells break away from the primary tumor and spread to other areas of the body. Metastasis accounts for 90% of cancer-related deaths. Once cancer cells enter the bloodstream, it can travel to anywhere in the body that blood flows. This includes the bones, lymph nodes, organs, and even the brain. Metastatic cancer cells can lie dormant for days, weeks, months, and even years, and then become reactivated. Micro-metastatic cells can go undetected by CT imaging, MRI, or PET scans. Currently, there are no chemotherapeutic agents specifically designed to combat micrometastasis. However, natural killer cells and natural killer T cells are the body's own innate defense against micrometastasis. Because of the effects of chemotherapy on the immune system, the proper function of natural killer cells and natural killer T cells is crucial. Questions to review. What are you doing about the carcinogens or chemicals or infections that cause cancer? What are you doing about the process of angiogenesis and stopping the blood supply to the tumor and the ability for cancer cells to spread? What are you doing about micrometastases and an immune targeted approach and defense?